Hey, welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Fabulous fall wreath. We're moving on in the series and we're doing the oak leaf today. So you can see this is what our goal is. It's relatively large when you compare it to the other kinds of leaves that we are doing. You see that there's not too many of those and we're going to begin. So we need to flip over to page number two. Now there's a lot of instruction there on round number two. We're gonna go through it as slowly as we possibly can and I think that there's a mistake also. So let's just zoom in and take a quick look at that as well. So as we zoom in, I believe that the chain count needs to be 14, not 13. I was sh missing a sh uh, stitch when I did it the way that it's written. So I just think chain 14 and you should be good to go so that the counts will work out for you. So that's something that I would consider if I were you and uh, for math maximum success. So if you didn't see this video, you probably wouldn't know that. So let's uh, continue and we are going to start off with some chain work, work our way around the chain and then we're gonna do the fancy stuff at the end. The fancy stuff at the end takes a little bit of time as far as understanding how it's doing but once you understand how it's going up and down with just the raising and the lowering of stitches, it's actually not too bad. Let's begin and start with round number one. As we begin the oak leaf, what we need to do is get your four millimeter size G crochet hook today. I'm using Karen one pound. You can use Red Heart with Love if you wish and that's something that you can consider and let's begin to do our oak leaf. So let's begin round number one with the slip knot and we're going to chain, I get, I'm thinking 14. So I tried 13, it doesn't work. So do 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So once we have this, the 14th one here is right go gonna be where the stem is and we're gonna do the stem immediately um, as we're going to continue our journey together. So let's uh, begin to do that and we're going to start off and we're going to do second chain from the hook, uh, just a single crochet and into the next one. I'm reading this as slowly as we go. So there's two single crochets in a row just like you see. Now we're going to half double crochet into the next three. So let's count those out together. So one, two and three and now we're gonna double crochet into the next three. So one, two and three and now it says to treble in the next four. So we're wrapping the hook twice. So we have one three and four and now because I chained 14 I have one last stitch. If I had chained 13 I was missing that stitch. So in the last one here we wanna put six trebles in there and just rotate this around so we're working on the underside of this chain when we get there. So let's count those up together. We're gonna do six so we have uh, six trebles, so one, two, three, four, five, and six and you're gonna notice it will buckle in a bit. It'll settle down in the next round. So once you have your six in the final there, we're gonna start immediately with the next one and work our way down the other side. So when we work our way down the other side is exactly what you kinda know. Okay, so let's uh, continue to do that. So we're gonna start off with four trebles in a row. I would go up over top of the straggler and trap that into position as you go and therefore you won't have to sew that later. So we have four trebles in a row. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now we're gonna do three doubles in a row. So we have one, two, and three. 
and then how many tri uh, half doubles do you remember? It's also three, so one, two, sorry that wasn't a half double that last one, so there that was two and three and then you're left at the very end with just a single crochet in each of the last two and before you move on I want you just to slip stitch to the beginning chain on the other side. So you're now going to be working completely in a circle. You notice that it's, it's gonna go like a soup bowl um, so, uh, um, spoon but just keep an eye on that because it will settle out in the next round. Let's slowly and I mean slowly do round number two. So our goal for round number two is to get it to look like this. The stem is the very last section that we're gonna do. So we're gonna come up and we're going to get these nubby things. So you have one, two, three and then the fourth is halfway through and then five or sorry uh, five, six and seven. So you have seven of these points. So the technically if you can really think about it what you're gonna do on this side is a mirror opposite to this side. So when we go to do it we're kinda doing it backwards in the sense that when you finish this section for example there's a chain four and it's slipped in. So when you start the same one on the other side it's slipping and chain four and then begin the other side if you can just think about that. So let's go slowly through round two. So in the same stitch where I have the join this is where I wanna begin. I'm not going to chain up at all. I'm just gonna immediately just half double crochet into that same stitch. I'm going to skip the next stitch and go to the next one and what I want to do is that I wanna put three double crochets into that second one over. So we have one two and three. I just pause for a second just to put a sticky note over top of the instructions so I can move the sticky note down. It's easier to do it for this one. So I have three in there and I'm going to chain a total of three. So one, two, three and I'm going to slip stitch into the same one that those three double crochets are in. And now we're gonna move on. So what I need to do is single crochet into the next stitch. Sorry, I wanna slip stitch. So now I wanna move on and I wanna slip stitch into the next stitch that's available to me. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch after that. And then I'm gonna half double crochet into the next stitch after that. So we're just moving our way down and I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so now I have to put three trebles, chain four and a slip stitch into the next stitch. So let's just start off and put three trebles in. So we're gonna do one, two and three and we're gonna chain four. So one, two, three, four and a slip stitch in the same one where those trebles are. And now you have your second one of seven of the humps around the oak leaf. I'm now going to slip stitch into the next stitch after this where it is. So I'm gonna slip into the next and then we're gonna get bigger again. So in order to do that is that we are going to single crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch after that. Okay, so you're moving down and then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch and then we'll start another um, bumpy thing just like you see. So in the next one that we have here, we're going to in the next stitch, you're going to put a two trebles, chain four and a slip stitch. So two trebles, okay, and a chain four, one, two, three, four and a slip stitch into the same one. And now there is the third hump of your oak leaf. So we're now going to slip stitch the very next one. In the next stitch we need to half double crochet, double crochet and treble into the same one. So we're going to start off with a half 
a double and a treble. And that's the halfway point of your oak leaf going around. I'm just moving down my sticky. In the next stitch we're gonna do opposite to what we just did. So we're gonna do in the next stitch we're gonna do a treble first and then a double and then a half. We're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch and just think about this humping that we did on this side. We have to just do it backwards in order to go down the other side. So we can't do it in the same order. So we just slip stitched over. So in the next stitch what we want to do is that we want to slip and this time we're gonna start off with the chain four. So one, two, three, four and then put two trebles in there. So if we recall on the other side we started with two trebles and chain four to come back in. So we're just starting in the opposite direction. So we just chain four to begin and then etc. So we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. We're gonna half double crochet to get smaller and then we're going to single crochet and the next one is a slip stitch. In the next one we want to slip stitch first and then chain four. So one, two, three, four and in the same one you want to apply a total of three trebles. So one, two, and three. And then starting in the next stitch we're going to double and the next one after that we're going to half double. Now that I've done this twice I actually can see how it's working so it's easier for me to follow it the second time through. And then single into the next and then slip. Okay so now we're going to, we're almost near to the end so I'm just gonna move my sticky note. So I'm gonna slip stitch into the next and I wanna chain three. So one, two, three and in the same one I want to put in three double crochet. I wanna skip the next stitch which is right there and I wanna half double crochet into the next and we're technically at the base of the leaf. So at this point we want to um, slip um, into the base of the leaf. So slip stitch and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and we are going to then second chain from the hook, single crochet into that one plus all the ones coming back. So there's just three more after that. And then once you got that done just slip back into the base of the leaf. And then that's it. So you'll just lay it down and we're gonna get rid of this strand. So just cut off a larger tail so that you can deal with it with the tapestry needle and just pull it through. Now if you went over top of your straggler like I suggested to do there shouldn't be too much and you don't have to weave in the middle seam. Just pull it, pull it tight and then just grab your tapestry needle and on the back side that you're looking at here I want to just pull it through and weave it in a total of three times in different spots. And then you can all you can dampen these things in order and let them dry so that you can shape them perfectly if you would like to do that. It's called blocking if you do that. So that's something you can do and this will then conclude off the leaf. And again you can do multiples of colors so that you have a random assortment of ideas and this is kind of a neat idea and this is the oak leaf. Until next time have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.